Hello everyone, this is Attorney Colin Wynn reaching out to you about a topic that deals with personal injury and what are certain factors that are going to come into a legitimate viable personal injury case. I'm going to kind of throw out some things that I would be looking for if I was to take on a personal injury case that's viable and that's going to be beneficial to me and my client. Um, I think the first question I'll ask is what happened? What, what was the injury? Was it a broken arm, stuff like that, or a dislocated shoulder? or even as bad as you know, major car accident where you fracture your you know, ribs or have back injuries, stuff like that, all those things are considered. Then the next question is, how was anyone at fault? And who can we sue? Let's say insurance company for the other driver or your own insurance company, let's say the car malfunction, and but well, that's more strict liability. And let's say you're in a no-fault state and you sue your own insurance company because these no-fault state means that your, your own insurance is gonna cover you whenever there's some injuries. Um, next up, you're going to be considered you know, the medical bill. Like, did you go to the doctor's right away? Or did you just go home? And then months later, you come and call me like, hey, I want a personal injury suit. No, it's not going to work usually because you have to document this. And you have to get kind of like, you know, a running total of what the bills are. Because personal injury, in truth, is about the numbers a lot of times. Let's say you didn't go to the hospital bills. How are we going to show them how much injuries that you accumulated from it? Because oftentimes, unfortunately, nobody can make you unhurt again, but people can you know, pay you for your pain and suffering, lost wages, um, various things like uh, enjoyment of life, lost enjoyment of life, it was somewhat permanent, permanency and all that stuff. All those things are going to be part of the damages that you're trying to get back from. So those are, be, those are things to be considered. Um, I definitely would visit a doctor's right away. Also, you know, you have the insurance, your insurance or the other side's insurance involved see how serious the injuries are and if we can prove that was not your fault but for someone else's fault personal injuries are usually negligent based where somebody's actions led to your injuries and it was no fault your own some states they do allow um, partial fault so long as you're not more at fault than the other person and they're going to reduce the damages to, that you can recover so it's a very very specific field of law Although it can be, you know, it can be very large. The majority of personal injury cases are actually done on a contingency level. So these attorneys are bringing on like, hey, I'll fund your lawsuit. I'll get you your doctor's report, all this stuff. We'll file suit and we're going to go all the way and we get, let's say, 30 percent to 40 percent of your recovery. So these cases are typically going to have to be slam dunks for these law firms or lawyers to take on your case. As with myself as well, I can't take on losers because you put so much money out and you do it on a contingency. Then you're gonna lose out on all that if you're gonna lose. So usually it has to be has to fit this you know, structure. And there's a few personal injuries that are kind of vague and I've won them before. And, but quite honestly, looking back, I probably wouldn't have done it because we won, got money from my clients for the time it spent and the risks it took. Early on, you know, I like to take risks and I took on cases that a lot of people even turned down because I'm, I think I can win it. And oftentimes I actually did. It's just these other people, it's not that they can't win it. It's more so, is it worth their time to win it? They, while they can go other cases where they know for a fact they're going to win and they're going to run up this bill, they're going to have them go to the doctors and make sure. And then all this time that my client is on the couch, not working, that's lost wages, pain and suffering. You're going to usually do a, try to do a calculation of like what's considered pain and suffering. And if it goes to trial, you know, you have a jury to kind of get in front of and like, how much would it cost you to have, you know, a broken back for six months? How much would I pay? How much would you be willing to get paid to be in that situation. So it's, it's very subjective and it's all argument based. But personal injuries cases can be very lucrative. You know, let's say, especially auto accidents and um, personal injuries are not wrongful death, but they are similar. Wrongful death is it leads to a person passing away. Personal injury is like, I'm injured from this. It can be temporary, it can be permanent, and it can be even like debilitating. So those things are all considered in regards to how much you can recover. And even if you just get in a basic car accident, and you have medical bills, and then you're out for a few weeks or something, a broken leg. Those things are you know, personal injuries that are setting you back and you want to recover monetary damages, which means money, because obviously no one can unhurt you, but they can maybe pay you for your own pain that you suffered and the time that you lost from work. So those are all things that need to be considered when you are talking about personal injury cases when you, when you have them. Um, doctors, notes, and you know, checkups are very important. So, if you become in that situation, I'd recommend reaching out to an attorney right away so he can help guide you in regards to how and what to do and how to document your case. Hello YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this content that we provide today. And if so, please slam the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you get notification of future content. 
And also, don't forget to leave a comment or suggestion below in regards to this video or any other videos that you think you would like us to do. And we will be back with future videos. Thank you very much.